Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. Ever wonder what comes inside that little first aid kit that you may notice is kind of stuck in the passenger side footwell of your Toyota Tundra? I'm going to go ahead and open mine up. I've got it in the garage. I pulled it out the other day. I had, quite frankly, forgotten about it. Uh, but I pulled it out and set it on the workbench in here so that I wouldn't forget about it again. And I got to thinking, you know, what really does come in this thing? This is what it looks like here. It has a couple of Velcro straps on the back. That's because they kind of stick it right up against the side well in the passenger side in the foot well area. So we're going to go ahead and uh, find out what actually comes in here. Let's go ahead and whip it open. Oops. And some things jump out at you right away, I guess. That's because they have it pretty well packed with stuff, it looks like. These things that popped out, let's see, instant hand sanitizer. And so far we've got three of those. Got a little pair of scissors. I'm hoping that's not to perform any kind of surgery. Certainly not. Uh, let's see, instructions for disposable face masks. So I'm guessing there must be some disposable face masks. Uh, funny that you need instructions for it. I mean, you basically put it over your nose and mouth and strap it behind your ears and you're good to go. We all know this, right? Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, I'm assuming pairs, doesn't say, but certainly there's two each in each one of these of gloves. That's to keep yourself protected in case you're administering first aid to somebody else and to keep them clean. We've got some medical tape, not too much. You probably use that maybe one time, depending on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Let's see, some stretch gauze. We've got one of those. We have a, what do they call this specifically? It's a wrap, um, one of those stretchable wraps that you'd wrap around your wrist or something or whatever. Next up, a triangular bandage. So, some kind of uh, bandage in case you have a problem. It does say non-sterile. Uh, that's no good. Why wouldn't it be sterile? I don't know. Uh, looks like three cleansing towelettes. Uh, let's see. Sting relief pad. So, in case you get stung by something. Then we have a magnifying glass. What a great idea that is. And some tweezers in case you need to remove some kind of a splinter or something. Then we have, let's see, they're calling these non-woven sterile pads, four by four. We have one, two, three of those. So that takes care of everything that's in the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick this stuff back in here so that I don't misplace or lose any of it. And the masks I think I'm going to stick those on the bottom. And this is a good way to arrange it the way that you want it, I suppose, if that's important at all. I mean, really, you never know what might happen, so order is probably insignificant, right? Now, let's check out what's in the top. A listing of what was in the kit. I suppose I should have checked that out uh, first off, then I'd know what's all in here, right? They give you, this looks like a book first aid guide and they give you all kinds of different scenarios and examples I guess of what you can do to treat things they even talk about uh, a tooth in case you have a tooth problem that's kind of interesting bandages looks like we have a ton there are one two three four five ten what I'll call I guess medium sized bandages and then we have one, two, three, four, five, ten very small, and these aren't bandages, these are more like butterfly. I guess they are butterfly bandages. They don't really say that, but if you look at them, kind of designed to put pressure on things, I guess. It just says adhesive bandage on the uh, package itself. And then we've got two, let's see, three gigantic sterile. Uh, bandages. These are pretty good size in case you had some big giant cut, I guess. 
and that's everything so not too bad I guess uh, enough stuff to get you out of a pinch if you got basically a small wound I mean there's nothing in here like a tourniquet or anything like that in case you needed uh, you know to stop bleeding or something like that another thing that I noticed there's none of that stop bleed stuff in there so you don't have anything like that in case you you know had a wound that you needed to close that would require maybe stitches later on probably not a bad idea to throw both of those in there some sort of a tourniquet type thing and also some sort of a stop bleed product in case you need to close something because you really don't have anything like that in here and we all know that if anything's going to happen it's going to be something that probably requires a little more than just a band-aid hopefully not now I have had other first aid kits I think I have one in the Tacoma right now um, that has a bunch more stuff in it so I think this is probably a good starting point this is a good uh, rudimentary kit to have in case you have anything minor happen and I'm not surprised that this is what they include because obviously the more uh, extreme stuff that they put in this kit the more they probably open themselves up for liability if you were to have something more serious happen and I really think that's why they have what they have here this is really just for small cuts and those kind of things nothing that really requires more knowledge or anything more serious I mean, I would hope we all know how to put a Band-Aid on, right? Hopefully. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through that. I've never looked in one of these kits before. I have one uh, for the Tacoma as well, something that Toyota provided. And I don't know if they provide it with every truck or not. And you can bet there's a charge for it. My guess, without looking at the sticker, is probably somewhere between 50 and 75 bucks. I'm not exactly sure, so this isn't something they're just giving you. It's something that, uh, indeed, they're going to charge you for. Now, in case you're interested in picking one of these up, Toyota did put a part number on here, so you could get one of these if you wanted it, throw it in your truck. The thing that I really like about it is the way it's able to be stored with those Velcro straps on the back. That makes it very convenient just to stick it somewhere up against the carpet or whatever. Boy, these things keep popping out of here, these hand sanitizer things. I hope that's not a, an omen. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. I need to go wash my hands. Probably so. Been out here cleaning up the garage a little bit. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think of that little kit? Is it useful at all? Or just a waste of money and you'd rather buy your own? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Literally. Bye. Thank you.